straight figures. The fool's number one, hardcore. That took me out. That threw me off right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. You're about to get killed. What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie reaction. This time, my first time watching 2003's Malibu's Most Wanted. Now, I know what you guys are thinking and saying. How the hell did I miss this movie, especially since I love this goofy, ridiculous comedy, especially from a time where I was just graduating high school? I can't tell you the answer to that one, but this used to be always shown on Comedy Central, so I did see bits and pieces. I do know it stars Jamie Kennedy. And another main reason why this popped in my head, I'll let you guys guess. So enough talking, let's get to watching because the less I know about a film, the better so you guys can get my genuine and honest reaction along the way. But before we get into it, if you guys want to show love to the channel, make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today where I do more reactions like this, movie reviews and live streams here on the channel. Also, if you guys are watching this reaction on YouTube and want to watch the full uncensored cut, make sure to click on my Patreon link down in the description below where you guys can join today for a seven day free trial all right guys i'm ready to laugh i hope this is a funny one let's just get into my first time watching 2003's malibu's most wanted <laughs> okay and i just want to let y'all know it's been a minute since I heard this one. That they never felt before. <laughs> Growing up in the streets ain't no joke. There's crazy crime. Drug and mad violence. <laughs> Malibu. It's hardcore up in the boot, y'all. Up in the boot? Everybody strapped with a nine. <laughs> we got all sorts of sets up in here. We got the Beach Boys, the ACCs, the abused children of celebrities, <laughs> and this is my crew. Oh, that's my boy Mocha. That brother straight up crazy. Nick Swartz's is this? Kumar. That there's Haji, and that's Monster. She had a big chip on her shoulder till she ate it. <laughs> the shiznit. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is gonna be a quotable movie. Be Red G. Be rad? That's my pops, Bill Gluckton. You see, friends, California is my family. <laughs> Here comes B rad rolling through. B rad G kicking up from Boop. We all gathered here on a special occasion. <laughs> it's over, that's it. The show's over. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I talked to the Times and the Chronicle, and they're both gonna run it as big joke. Oh, thank God. I just got you another million votes right there. I'm gonna be on the campaign, Trizzy, too, 24 7. You know, kissing babies and whatnot. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you need to shut this down. Yeah. You need to tell your son that he cannot be in your campaign, period. I mean, isn't there something he can do for the campaign where he can't hurt us? Stuffing envelopes, making signs? Why is this very similar to the premise of Black Sheep with Chris Farley and David Spade? Women are going to have better daycare and women will have better jobs. <laughs> Supposed to have read women are first with luck. Nah, nah. You need to keep your pimp hands strong. <laughs> oh my God. So, Bradley. Yo, why you keep calling me that? It's my slave name, all right? <laughs> when did you first start feeling like you were this... Just... I had these beats in my head since I was a little shy. <laughs> From then on in, it was hip-hop 24-7. Your parents weren't always there for you. No. Hey, Brandon, what's the theme of your bar mitzvah? It's OPP, bitch! What? Get out with LPP! Get out with LPP! Yeah, you're 
<laughs> this is the most advanced case of gangsterphrenia I've ever seen. Gangsterphrenia? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so we've been uh, brainstorming some different approaches here, and uh, I think we might have something pretty solid. Brad acts ghetto, mm. right? But let's face it, he's never been east of Beverly Hills. But what if we give him a little dose of reality? Let him get a first-hand look at the ghetto. Oh, that's see, now that sounds dangerous. No, 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 no perfectly safe. We hire actors to play gangsters. They, they will carjack Brad, and then they will take him on a tour around the hood. It might just scare the black out of him. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Scared straight program, okay. Remember the anti-crime spot we shot a month ago? For too long, street hey, violence has torn Californians hey, apart. Hey, Bill Gluckman hey, wants to put our division... Oh my God, is that a... Anthony Anderson, or...? Why don't you both be brothers? Yeah. What do you say? I never thought of it like that. Tay Diggs. Shake hands. You see, California is my family. Oh, hell no. All right, you want us to take this kid and scare him into acting like a little white boy again? Oh, of course we can handle it. I'm from Juilliard, for Christ's sake. I'm from the Pasadena Playhouse. <laughs> Pay 15 grand a piece, son. We're, We're in. in. Good. Are we clear? Oh, oh. we are Crystal. I like that. Crystal. Oh man, this is funny. And I haven't even seen shit yet. This is about to be funny. <laughs> Well, that's the stupid. Oh, hell yeah, Regina King. The fuck you say? Regina Hall. I fucked up. I fucked up. Damn, that's disrespectful. Yeah. Sorry, guy. I... Please, don't crucify me. I love her to death. I just fucked up with names, all right? What you paying? We're paying a grand. Make it Trey and we on. $3,000. Deal. Hey, 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 deal. Oh man, I see a lot of recognizable faces, but I don't recognize the names, man. She's from Reno 911, though. When they gonna leave our people alone? I don't know, baby. I just don't know. <laughs> this is uh, this is exactly what we ordered. Huh? Oh yeah, man. They got the Glocks, man. They got the Tech Nines. They got the Uzis. Uh huh. Free oh, sucker. That's convincing, brother. <laughs> that's wow. What the hell is that? What's going on with your hair? Shonda just did it for me. Yeah, I yeah, see. yeah. I said I thought my my character was gonna have the corn rolls, and uh, oh. that's all. He doesn't even have hair. <laughs> <laughs> Got the gangster gear, my dog. Okay, cool. Bro, <laughs> give me a ride, punker. I will dust your ass. Nope. You Clint Eastwood? Not convincing. Give me a ride, punk, or I will dust your ass, biatch. 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 Click it. Biatch. Shit. Bro, <laughs> I've never seen them act like this ever. This is crazy. I got shot at two. Tell my homie call me up for Malibu. And then my homegirl there. Pants pulled down, hang. Damn. Word. Hey, yo, Krista the Barista. Put on my camera. And throw in a white chip macadamian nizza cookie too. Ooh, was that you dropping rhymes when I came in here earlier? Oh, you heard me? Hell yeah, I'm a rhyme on time. What label you at? Oh, I sent it to Dre, but he ain't got back to me yet. I was actually on my way to go see him. You wanna roll with me? Right now? I'm just trying to help a brother out. Let's bounce. I cannot believe that interaction I just heard right now. I, I, I cannot believe. What I'm seeing, bro. <laughs> it is 2003. So, uh, you got a man? I did, but I just got rid of his trifling ass. One day, I'ma have me a chain of beauty salons all up in the 90210. Damn, you fine and smart too? <laughs> you gonna blow up huge, no doubt. Thank you. Oh, for real. Break you shit, fool! Give me your rod or I'ma dust your ass, bitch! Does this mean we ain't going to drain? Oh, this a kidnapping. How y'all know me? We seen you. We seen your walk behind on the TV. How much you think we can get for this punk anyway? All about the Benjamins, baby. Yeah. I remember that Sky Tell Pager. Oh, shit. Come on, punk. Get in the house, fool. 
Dang, why you doing this to him, brother? What? What? Did he just say brother? No, he didn't. Whose brother? Yours, y'all. I'm Dan. You ain't black, and you can never be black. What make you think you know what goes down up in the hood anyway, huh? Mm. B.E.T. <laughs> you think this a joke, Wigger? We in South Central. It's the hood. It's the ghetto. The projects. Yeah. People get killed here every day. Yay, yay! Hey, Sandra, can you come by later? Princess just had puppies. Okay, Sandy. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that's the most gangster shit ever. Pit bull puppies, fool. And, and they mean shit. Pit bull puppies. Don't know. <laughs> Those are the cutest little girls I've ever seen, bro. That was funny, though. Treat a plan, don't change. Wanna be say he down? I'ma show him just how undown he is. Undown? Gotta cut him. I ain't even gonna be in here tonight. I want you to go up in there. You go get me six forties of OE. And a fifth of Henny. Y'all got some ducats? Cause since you stole my... Check that shit, fool! And if the Asiatic give you any static, mm. hit the fool with this right here. Mm -hmm. You use that, I'ma use it on you, fool. <laughs> <laughs> they put him through a ghetto training course, man. This is funny. All right, level one, man. Can you do it? Can you rob a Korean store? <laughs> so, dude, <laughs> how much did you pay the guy? You know, when you set this whole thing up yesterday. Uh, I thought you set it up. Dude, the owner doesn't know this is fake? I forgot they got to keep him safe. Uh-huh. <sighs> My emergency stash. Because if you were trying to jack me, fool, I was going to have to lay you out with this. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with this? Huh? If you jacked it, how come you got a receipt? <laughs> Sick of playing game with you, snowflake. All right, now I'm gonna give you five seconds for you to be real. real. You know what I mean, be white. Okay, all right. Okay, fellas, look, I'm really sorry, okay? I don't mean to offend you, you know. Oh, they broke him. You buying it? I don't know, I can't tell. Let's give him the test. That's a test. My dad used to do that shit, yell at the screen. Oh my god, that's funny. Wigger, please. No, for real. Wigger. Hey, man, hey, I had it up to here with you, man. Oh, yeah, we gonna see what you represent now, fool. We at the club. Oh my god, he didn't have any. Man, I told you I didn't have. My caps. Yeah, yeah, look, our homie, you wanna get a young Dre next, man. What's his name? B Rad from Malibu, player. All right, we're gonna bring him up, man. Y'all go back there and play with each other and come back by five more minutes. Hey, man, uh, y'all got some Will Smith back there? <laughs> so corny, man. So goofy. I've been busy, Tech. You've been getting busy? Oh, isn't this one of the Waynes brothers? Like one of the cousins or the nephews or something? <laughs> See, this that shit, Chandra. You thinking you better than me. All you is is a chicken head, and that's all you ever gonna be. Chandra? Hey, girl. What's up? You right? You hitting this? Terry Crews in the back? I'm gonna tell you to mind your own damn business, white boy. Huh? Y'all gonna be real sorry to both of you. You all right? Yeah, okay. Man, this movie has some black all stars in it. I swear to God, this is awesome. A lot of, a lot of actors I grew up on, man. Give it up for B Rad, straight out of Malibu. B Rad, come on up, B Rad. Oh my God, this is gonna be like the scene from Scary Movie Three. <laughs> With Simon Rex. Oh, you ain't down, homie. Hey, I ain't battling no bitch, homie, first of all. Ooh. I know you heard that. Come on, let's set it up. What's it gonna be, Saltine? Here's a tale. To this ass. <laughs> a tails. Uh, tails. Uh, I like tails, please. Ladies first. Ooh, hey, ooh. Uh, yeah. See, your mama got drunk and fell asleep in the zoo. With a zebra and a monkey, it came up with you. I really don't dig this rapping John Wayne. Say, y'all, this little weenie's so small. When he go to take a leak, I bet he piss on his ball. <laughs> yeah. When I say Molly, you say boo. Molly. His ass cheeks are hanging out. <laughs> 
And yo, I may be white, but inside my soul is black as night. And I don't wanna fight, alright? I'd rather go fly a kite. Hey, young Dre, you got cornrows in your hair. You got cornrows down there? I gotta watch. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm feeling straight, nigga. The fool's number one, hardcore. That took me out. That threw me off right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. You're about to get killed. <laughs> yeah, we are not with him. <laughs> Time for the beat down. <laughs> oh, wow. When did Scary Movie 3 come out? Because this is exactly what happened. Don't be hating. <laughs> On top of a bunch of Wonder Bread. <laughs> this is exactly what happened at Scary Movie 3 on that rapping skit. <laughs> oh, man, they got the Hector in here, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I so said you're getting played, dog. Little white boy up there hitting your lady, you know? She digging it. She loving what's going on oh, and this right. and that, right? Hmm? I was thinking maybe i go next. You want that. <laughs> Let a homeboy get some action, you know what I mean? Just a little something. something. You know, it's not as bad as it seems. It's worse. Everybody's right. Rom's just weak. I respect you for getting up there. You got mad heart. You just got to stick with it and be yourself. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Well, she is so nice to him. Huh? I ain't never been with a real black girl before. You're so pretty. Thank you. Oh, you real pretty. Oh, yeah, he's so horny, man. Damn, fool, I said kiss. I offered you a snack, not the whole kitchen. Y'all better get my money, or I'm going in there and I'm going to tell them what's up. All right? I really did not know this movie was like this. <laughs> Down here, dog. Snoop? Still a little? Uh, Negro, please. Yo, I'm Ronnie Rizzat, Represizzat. You need to stop listening to all them perpetrators and just be yourself. Pound it. Oh my God. And if I work hard, I can be the biggest rapper that ever was? Rapper? Hell no, nah, you stink. Don't be hating. <laughs> These daydream sequences are funny. Well, he totally bought. The, uh, the car. So uh, we've taken upon ourselves to plan a drive-by shooting next. Uh, Mr. Gluckman will be very happy. They've been playing me all along. I knew my rhymes was dope. I knew the hood couldn't be this bad. <laughs> hey, what? How are you doing? Listen up, and things are gonna start changing around here for Sheezy. Hey, you better shut your mouth, fool. Get back in that room before I beat your ass. <laughs> what the hell got into you? Shut up, ho. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> ho. Oh, now she's going to beat his ass. She's going to beat his ass. Same ho that gave up that weak ass kiss five minutes ago in the bedroom. Chandra, I told you she liked white boys. <laughs> I was trying to put my mob and days behind me. So let's start dropping bodies. Let's start dropping bodies. Where you going, man? Where you going? I need to take it dry. Yay, yay! Oh, 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 oh my oh, god! Oh, 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 it's a jack! jack. It's a jack. It's a jack! Get out the car, white boy! Get your behind out the car, man! Shut up and move! Move him! Alright! Hey, player, we were just hired to uh, kidnap Bill Gluckman's son, man. That, that, that's all we was doing. Gluckman? Is that that dude running for governor? Down with the bitches and hoes? I'ma vote for him. <laughs> what, you think we ignorant just because we live in the hood? Huh? Huh? We got Gluckman's son. Gotta be worth more alive than dead. What you think? Gotta be. Is that him, that's there, or what? Yeah, that's Tech from the I-9s, Holmes. Call Cycle. Tell him to bring it all down. We're gonna have ourselves a little party tonight, homie. Oh, shit. Please help us. I am so scared. <laughs> Yo. Why does he sound like that character from the Boondocks? Thank you, Huey. Whatever you do, don't tell my baby Jasmine 
I don't want her to know her daddy was somebody's bitch. Bill Gluckman does not make deals with criminals. His punk ass is dead. Well, you do what you have to do. That was cold. And I cannot deal with this shit. I ain't afraid to die. Yeah, this is good. This is like good. Oh, he still thinks this is fake. I forgot about that. <laughs> Y'all wanna play? Well then let's play! <laughs> I'm Malibu's most wanted, y'all! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! <laughs> wow. He quoted training day. <laughs> And y'all punk asses ain't do nothing. All that buffness for no reason. That's him. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> hey, Terry Crew, this buff is shit. Grand Theft Auto 3. Word? Can I borrow that? You got a uh, PlayStation 2? Nah, I got Gamecast. Gamecast? What the fuck is Gamecast? Well, there's GameCube and then there's Dreamcast. What you got? Well, I said I got Gamecast, oh, man. Damn, oh. I can't afford it. What? <laughs> My wigger, my wigger. <laughs> my wigger, my wigger. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. Yo, you shouldn't have. Welcome to the nines, baby. Only way out now is in a box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. This is when Dave Chappelle said in his sketch or his stand-up comedy that you ever seen a group of black dudes just walking on the street and there's always one white guy with them. Those white guys are the craziest ones because you never knew what the hell they did to get in that group or to gain their trust and loyalty. <laughs> As it flared on the streets of South Central, this hardcore gangster <laughs> believed the? to be the- How'd they get that picture? Fires his weapons with wanton disregard for human life or personal property. 1-800-1-SNITCH. No, Bill? no, he's shooting the hell out of South Central. Come on, Tom, let's go get no, him. No, 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 no. You cancel that. And you can kiss this campaign goodbye. Tom, you can shove the debate up your ass. I'm not going to lose my son over this election. What, are you, are you trying to get votes out of this? I'm trying to win, Bill, and you don't seem to care. I'm his father. Since when? Ooh. Since right now. You're and fired. You're fired. Yep. I knew that was coming. You can't talk to someone like that. That's your boss? <laughs> Shit. And not expect the repercussions. That's a pretty flashy vehicle for the governor or governor B. What? What the hell are you supposed to be, robo bitch? <laughs> Haji, how about you? Uh, I couldn't get much, yo. Just, uh, just this. Oh my! <laughs> Christmas present from Uncle Ahmed. Uncle Ahmed. I love the stereotypes that they're playing into. Oh man, it's about to go down. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a big ass pop lock. Is the mayonnaise between the wheat bread? Learn. I'm gonna learn. I like that. All right. I'm ready for the chocolate love. But I guess I wasn't good enough for you, huh? What? You had to creep up in the hood and get two more. This no good, deadbeat, weak ass white boy won't take care of little Malik. Mm hmm. Or Taquasia. Taquasia? Or Nahoje. Naho who? Oh, no, no, that's trifling. Let's get the hell up out of here. Nahoje. I ain't going nowhere. I'm an I9 now. Peep my tat. This may sound stupid to you, but not everybody has money. And for the people who don't, money is important. Tech and his crew are real. Oh, really? Then this gap must be real. Then the bullets in it have got to be real. This would really hurt. <laughs> See that? I just shot my foot. And it's real! I just shot my foot! What a dumbass. I just shot my foot. I'm <laughs> dying! This cat barely grazed you. Stop oh, moving! God. Hey, who doing uh, all that popping up? Uh, uh, hey, what the uh, hell? What you done forgot already, fool? I done told you, it's only one way out of the I-9. And your e-tickets in this here chamber. 
You really weren't gonna pay my ransom? That was not part of the plan. What was the plan? Send me down here to scare me white? Uh, look, I thought I had tried everything. I didn't know how to deal with you anymore. You didn't know how to deal with me, because you don't know me. And you never cared to find out. I know that. I'm not proud of myself. I can't change that. But I always loved you. And I still do. And if you say that this is who you really are, I, and I, I accept you. And from here on in, I promise to be a real father to you. Much love. We got business to end. Let's smoke these fools. B-Rad's right. All this hating is whack. <laughs> he ran out with the rims. Oh my god. Was not expecting that. No, I'm confused. About what? I don't know what was real and what wasn't. That's real. Can't touch the hair. Can't touch the hair. But you can put your hands in a sister's hair. Damn, fool. My bad. Chandra's salon is now officially open for business. Chickens be out to coat. You're the only person that accepted me for who I really am. You also kidnapped me, carjacked me, and tried to scare me white. I'm gonna let that one go. Ooh! I cannot believe this ending. <laughs> Here he is, my hand, y'all. Man of the hour. Bill Clefman, y'all. Oh, God. Oh, big boy. Paul. That's what I call blowing up for your ass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I needed that. I needed that laugh. Oh, man. My, my cheeks and my jaws, man, they really do hurt from smiling so much. All right, guys. That was 2003's Malibu's Most Wanted. Let's talk about it. All right, Flix Talkers. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even know I was going to be watching this one today, but you know what? Like I said, I was in a mood needing some comedy. And this was definitely something that was obviously more in the parody satire category. There was a lot of stereotypes that they were playing off of. And that's fantastic because you know what? Unfortunately, you can't do comedy like this anymore. And I really do appreciate these time relics once again, where you kind of figure out where comedy started to shift a bit. You know, you can make fun of all of the stereotypes, like I said, once again, and not worry about backlash because people knew that they were jokes. And I thought everything was pretty funny for the most part. Some of the writing was a little lacking. It could have been better. I thought the acting was phenomenal from some of these characters, especially Tay Diggs and Anthony Anderson as these characters that are actors, you know, Juilliard. And then I think he said Pasadena Playhouse. And these guys were extremely funny, especially since I've seen them in other roles. Actually, now that I think about it, I'd reference Scary Movie 3 with that rap battle scene and Anthony Anderson is in Scary Movie 3 in that exact same rap scene, but they're parodying 8 Mile. But the part where they throw him in the trash can, that's from this movie. It's crazy. It is so crazy, man. I, either way, I definitely know a lot of the references now. I can quote this movie because I've heard, like even in Workaholics, this show that I like, they say B-Rad to this guy Brad, and I'm like, where did that come from? I thought that came from that show. No, it came from Malibu's Most Wanted. So this is cool, man. This is fun. Like I said, this movie hit right when I was about to graduate high school. I don't know why I didn't catch it. Jamie Kennedy was a huge part of the early 2000s for sure. I know he did stand-up comedy. I know he's doing podcasting now. I think he's a really funny guy, man. And I know he did the Jamie Kennedy experience, which was a big thing that I used to watch back in those days when Punked was alive and all the early reality shows or secret camera shows were popping off on TV. We were glued to our televisions watching this stuff. But also, it's actually really important to note. I wish I had some pictures I could show you guys so I can embarrass myself. But in high school, I used to dress like B-Rad. 
Yeah, believe it or not, the baggy clothes, the jerseys, the sideways hats, all that stuff was very, very popular. It didn't matter what you were, black, white, brown, didn't matter, man. If you were into hip hop at that time, in the 90s, in the early 2000s, you were dressing like this. That's just what it was. And I knew white guys that dressed like this. I don't remember if they used the term wigger back then, but I definitely remember hearing it later in life and I was like, we were kind of like that, man. It really was like that. BET was our Bible back then, man. We were watching MTV's TRL and BET's Rap City to get all of the rap videos that were popping at the moment once again. I thought they painted the picture very, very well. Once again, I love playing on all the stereotypes, but obviously those that want to get out of the ghetto, so to speak, like Regina Hall's character, I thought she was extremely funny in this movie. Very interesting choice as the love interest for B-Rad. She ends up with him at the end, but she had dreams of her own. I thought that was an interesting but important twist. They had some kind of messages along the way, very, very minute messages, kind of shimmied in there about let's all not fight, we're all brothers and stuff like that. Either way, I was here for the comedy, goofs, and gaffes. And all that being said, guys, I think I'm gonna give 2003's Malibu's Most Wanted a solid three out of five. This one was funny. Didn't want to take it seriously whatsoever. I just wanted to see what it was all about. You guys let me know your score for Malibu's Most Wanted down in the comments below. If you guys did appreciate mine, please hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today for more reactions, reviews, and live streams here on the channel. Also, if you guys want to see this reaction in full, make sure to click on my Patreon link down in the description below where you guys can join today for a seven-day free trial. All right, Flix Talkers, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.